Hello everyone, my name is Jean Guy. I want to welcome you to this presentation and this webinar series on the Business Acceleration Webinar Series. It's what I call the missing link. It's, it's this picture here you see on your screen is an absolute uh, truth when it comes to the missing link that's in your business and in all of our businesses that we've experienced over the years. Yeah, it, this is a um, a webinar series that was crafted by local experts in order to help you go to the next level, take your business to the next level, take your sales to the next level, take your profits to the next level, and the best part is, is that it's all done by local, uh, local experts, people that you know and trust. Uh, and we've put together this webinar series for you, and, and we're going to be going through this uh, today, and, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. You're going to get a lot out of it, that's for sure. So I want to introduce myself. My name is JG, or Jean-Guy is the French version, JG for short. Uh, for those who don't know me, I wrote four books, uh, the latest one being the one you see on the screen there. It's called Messy Manager, Managing is Messy, Leadership is Simple, Just Not Easy. Uh, over the years, over the last decade, I've owned, built, sold, managed, and consulted uh, companies in 25 different industries. My first company actually went from 300 clients to 3,000 clients in just six months. Uh, I've been in this uh, business growth arena now for, like I said, the last decade. Uh, both in the perspective of uh, having clients and also I've built and sold many, many companies and currently I'm involved with 10 different companies all over the world. And this is some of the testimonials, if you will, or what, you know, what people are saying about my systems and, and so on and so forth. And I'm really touched when I get these sort of random emails, uh, people saying that uh, I've impacted their business because I believe that if I can impact and help them grow their business, I can help them grow their lives because they're bit, these entrepreneurs, just like yourselves, their business is tied to their life. But with me today, I have a very special guest. Rob, are you there? Hey, Jean-Guy, how are you? Can you hear me? I could. I could hear you just fine. Do you have me, Jean-Guy? I got you, Rob. Yes, I got you. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Happy to be here. I'm really excited about this, uh, this series that, uh, that you've asked me to come in on, that you and uh, Jerry are putting together, and it's, uh, it's going to be fantastic. It, it is, Rob. It's going to be a, an absolutely uh, fantastic webinar series. Now, for those who don't know Rob, uh, Robert Herman, uh, he wrote this book, The Guide to Marketing Your Business Online in Toronto. And, and what I like uh, specifically about Rob, and it's kind of funny because I found this testimonial online about him, and this is somebody that works with Rob because Rob is actually a teacher at Seneca College among many other things. He's an entrepreneur. He's the CEO of Good Doggy Marketing. But through all of that, and I don't know how you do it, Rob, but through all of that, he finds time to teach students and both uh, business owners, small and medium-sized business owners who go to Seneca College to learn about online marketing and about internet marketing. And this is what actually the director of the program had to say about Rob. He said, Rob, your, both your presentation and your book are exactly what busy business people need to start cashing in on the rewarding world of online commerce. And I think that that is indicative, Rob, of what you bring to this a webinar series, and, and you and I are going to talk extensively today about what this webinar series is all about, but I can't wait to feature you as the expert. Uh, so welcome to this, Rob. I'm, I'm really glad that you're here. Yeah, thanks, Jean-Guy, and I really appreciate the opportunity that you're, uh, you're extending me in order to, uh, to help all these local uh, business owners, because uh, I find that a really rewarding um, you know, part of the job. So thank you. No problem. So one of the things, let's get right into it. Uh, one of the things I want to present is this, uh, this funnel, this marketing funnel concept that I've built over the years. Um, you know, I don't want to say that I'm responsible for all of the categories, but I primarily work on this uh, extensively in my different seminars I give, different talks I give, and, and it's a, it's a big part of what I do. And when I was talking to Rob about this um, this webinar series and the business acceleration principles behind it and, and the things that we're going to talk about to take your business to the next level, he says, jean you have to talk about your marketing funnel because it's really powerful. So uh, Rob, thanks for mentioning that because as a, you know, as a result of your suggestion, that's what I'm going to talk about next. 
Yeah, that's great. I mean, I couldn't think of something uh, more important that you could give to all these people listening on this webinar. Um, you know, just when, when you and I were just discussing it on the golf course, uh, Yangi and I get to have business meetings on the golf course every now and again, which is a really nice part of our, uh, of our business together. Uh, you know, I thought that this would just be an excellent fit into the overall scheme of this webinar series on how it can build out and help um, local entrepreneurs uh, grow their business to the next level, whether it's uh, going from a startup to a small business, from a small business to a medium, or from a medium to a large uh, enterprise business. Fantastic. Well, that's great. Well, Rob, let me let me jump right into it. But before I do that, I actually wanted to ask you, Rob, and I, and I hope I'm not putting you on the spot, but, you know, Tell me what you think. I mean, you're one of the featured speakers in this. Uh, they're gonna the people listening now are gonna find out soon that we're gonna have international best-selling author Jerry Robert, who's spoken over three million people and generated over a hundred million dollars in revenue. He's gonna be one of the featured speakers. We're gonna have many, many other featured speakers. What do you think a small business owner is gonna get? Uh, out of watching this webinar series because this is this is a huge opportunity but people you know people are skeptical today and they want to know what's in it for me so Rob what do you think is in it for them for them to commit their time to watching this webinar series well you know I just before I answer that uh, I've got the question board in front of me and there's a whole bunch of questions coming in and some of them actually Jean Guy are not questions they're comments here we've got one uh, thanks guys for taking the time to put this on for us uh, you're welcome, Mark. Anyway, I'm not going to go through all the questions. I'm actually I'm going to ask people to refrain from putting in questions right now. We're going to make this webinar short. We're going to go through it, and we'll be able to answer some questions at the end. But here's one that several people are asking, and what is the cost of this webinar series? Let's get this right out in the open, Jean Guy. Why don't you tell everyone what the cost of this webinar series is? Well, that's the that's the beauty. We've designed the business acceleration webinar series in such a way where we're actually going to give it to everybody for free. Now, I want everybody to really pay attention. I said that you're going to get it for zero dollars, free, gratis, no charge, whatever you want to call it. But I, you know, this is dangerous, Rob, because when people uh, give stuff away for free, sometimes the recipient of the free gift can think that it's not worth it because they didn't pay for it. But I want everybody to know that the people we're bringing on this webinar series uh, collectively have generated hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue. Um, and this is a huge, huge, huge importance in order for you to take your business to the next level. This would easily sell. And Rob, I know, um, you know, based on your experience, you're heavily involved in different uh, various webinar series. You, you and I both agree, Rob. If we were to sell this, this would easily sell for over five hundred dollars, if not a thousand. Oh, absolutely. Uh, with the type, with the quality of speakers that are going to be on here, I know you were mentioning Jerry Roberts. Uh, there's yourself, uh, you know, four-time author, and have helped uh, you know businesses in over 25 uh, different industries. There's myself. I mean, um, you know, my courses are are, are uh, at Seneca and so on um, are definitely not free. Uh, you know, the co the college uh, charges well over three hundred dollars. Uh, Per, uh, per very short course and much more for, for larger courses. So, you know, my time is generally paid for as well. Um, you know, we're looking at, uh, I believe we're going to be having a Ross Libby next, which is, uh, he's, he's the a partner in a very large accounting firm, and his advice uh, is definitely uh, not given lightly. Uh, so, I mean, the quality of speakers that are going to be on here um, for free is phenomenal, and I really hope, I truly hope, uh, guys that you're who are listening to this, that because we have not attached, um, you know, a monetary price tag on this, that you are going to take the information um, with less, you know, enthusiasm. Please take this information, uh, but most of all, imp uh, implement this information. That's really what I'd like to say, because to, to have information is one thing, to take good information and to use it puts you into an entirely different playing field. Yeah, I, I agree, Rob. So without uh, sort of without further ado, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a couple minutes to cover my sort of my marketing funnel and everything that I've done. I'm also going to include in that funnel different real life examples. I'm not going to give you theory. This isn't theory. This isn't something that I 
wrote in one of my books for fun. This is something that I implement every single day in my companies, and I have a group of companies that is, like I said, has over 10 companies in it all over the world. So I'm going to give you real-life samples of where we use this information and how you can implement it to take your business to the next level. So let's rock and roll right into that. What do you say, Rob? I'm looking forward to it. Let's go, Jangi. All right. So the first thing, I, I just want to cover this funnel again, which is that there's five parts to the marketing funnel. First, you have to generate leads. That's at the top of your funnel. Then you have to capture uh, leads, those we call suspects. Then you have to qualify a suspect and make them a prospect. Then you can convert a prospect into a client, and in the end, you can nurture and follow up with your clients to make them repeat clients. So let me just go through this funnel and, and like I said, give you real-life examples. So I'm going to rock and roll through this. If you haven't grabbed a pen and paper, it is time to do it now because here's where, here's where all the fun stuff starts. The top of the funnel is always generate. And the biggest mistake made in small business today, and I guarantee 96% of people on the line right now, and I don't know how many we have on there. Rob, maybe you can count them up and tell me. I know there's a lot. But everybody, or 96% or more, are making the mistake of not capturing leads. And I'll explain how you can do that. Then you have to qualify leads. Then you want to convert leads. That's where you're going to make money, because that's what everybody wants to do is convert leads. And naturally, you want to nurture leads. But when it comes down to a funnel like this, the really the biggest opportunity you'll find is in the bottom end of the funnel. This is where you really make your money. We're talking about repeat sales. We're talking about cross sales. We're talking about referrals. We're talking about joint ventures. This is where you're going to make the big majority of your profit. People that are only focused on the top end of their funnel, i.e. generating leads, that's a very expensive proposition. It costs three times more to generate a lead than to, to sell an existing customer something else. So really, the big money is on the back end of your funnel, not on the front end. And I know, Rob, you're a huge proponent of that, so we're talking the same language. But people need to understand this information. So let me now that you understand the marketing funnel, the five parts up top and then the four parts on the bottom, let me dive into some, some other fun stuff. What you're going to notice, and if you look at your business, what's happening with your funnel is it probably looks like this. Every time you put two customers in, one slips out. Then you put five customer in, customers in, two slip out. But because, you know, and I'll give you a very realistic example. You may be generating thousands and thousands of website hits every single month. But if you're not capturing that website traffic, every time they come to your site, you have to pay to get them back to your site. And that's a very expensive proposition. But what I've found over the last decade in doing this all over the world uh, and helping you know, dozens and dozens of companies, 25 different industries all together, is most businesses look like this. They're full of holes. Rob, would you agree? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> and uh, not just not just the uh, the web traffic, uh, you know, are getting away. I mean, if you have a brick and mortar front store and people are walking in and you're not you're not not engaging them and, and, and starting the relationship right there, then you know, then that funnel is even going to be uh, holier. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I love the fact that you talked to brick and mortar because uh, a brick and mortar company because people often think this is only for online businesses and one of the companies I'm involved with is a brick and mortar it's a restaurant how much how much more brick and mortar can you get and I'm gonna actually show you how I've implemented this exact strategy to boost their sales so let's keep going um, what you find in most business and this is probably the big majority 95 96 percent plus of the people on the phone today your business looks like this I know it does and you're leaking all of this uh, all these holes are essentially clients and money leaking away on you. That's what's happening. So I want to go through some of the excuses that I've heard over the years in terms of why people have a leaky funnel. That's what I call it, a leaky funnel, or why people don't implement this marketing system. So you look at generating leads. They'll say things like they don't have enough money. Uh, they don't first. They don't know their audience. They don't know their medium. They don't know their message. They have problems with all three of these. They have no time. They're not sure what to do. They got ineffective magnets. 
Uh, they don't know how to do copywriting. They're writing copy or uh, text, you know, sales text based on their needs, not the customer's leads. They have an unclear call to action. That's what CTA stands for, call to action. Uh, nobody, nobody owns the task of generating leads on a consistent basis. That's a big problem. Then you look at capturing. I mean, there's so many reasons and excuses why people don't capture. First of all, they're not giving the customer a reason to opt in. They don't have any way of capturing. They don't have any system. They have no attraction marketing device. They have no videos. They have ocular flow problems. That's how your website reads. They don't test anything. So these are all excuses I've heard and, and problems I've seen. And I know that, that you're feeling these problems too. When it comes to qualifying leads, you got no time, uh, bad, bad habits. I love this one, bad habits. I mean, I've seen so many business people talk to just about anybody out there, anyone who can fog a mirror. Uh, you know, you want to talk to them to try to sell them. But that's really not the way to make, uh, to grow your sales. To grow your sales, you have to talk to more qualified prospects, not more people. See, everybody thinks they just need more people. You don't need more people. You need more qualified prospects. Those are some qualifying issues. Then you have converting leads. You know, um, what I call closing process failure, which is essentially your closing ratio is way too small. You're trying to you're trying to sell everybody. You're trying to convert everybody, and as a result. Um, you're only closing one out of a hundred or even one out of ten. I mean, in a good solid business, you can close seven, eight, nine out of ten. That's seventy, eighty, or ninety percent of qualified leads you should be able to sell. If you're closing less than fifty percent, you're doing something wrong. Uh, closing skills, all of these problems in the conversion. Then in the nurture, oh man, you get into multiple systems chaos, you don't know how to follow up, you got no touch points. Um, you know, it's just a very uh complex and it's a real issue and what I found over the years what ends up happening is the business over time ends up bleeding red ink and everybody loves or maybe they don't love but they sure recognize this slide with the red ink and them feeling the you know the feeling of drowning in that ink that's what most people feel like and I know that the people on this call could appreciate that and the people um, that are listening right now can can uh, relate to this. So what we want to do, the first thing we got to do is fix the funnel. You know all those holes, you got to plug them up. I mean, everybody wants to put more money into generating leads, but if your funnel is full of holes, and if for every five leads you put in, you're leaking out two or three, what's the point? You're just wasting money. This picture here on the right-hand side is a perfect illustration of what it should feel like. You put a prospect in, you get money out the bottom. It should be that simple. So you got to fix your funnel, and you got to create this um, sort of iron clasp around your funnel to make sure no um, prospect ever, 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 ever repeat after me ever um, leaves your funnel because it's expensive to generate leads, and you want to keep them as long as possible. Now. I want to show you what I mean. Now, this is a website I built for one of my clients, one of the companies I'm involved with. And you're going to notice it's a very different looking website. The first thing is, is you can tell that we have at the top left their logo. Nah, that's pretty common. Most people have their logo up there. But then on the right hand side, we right away go with a call to action. Try our free mastermind breakfast and achieve your goals. So you see how we don't make it us focused, we make it them focused. So we give them an offer right out of the bat. Uh, if you look here, and I'm just going to uh, take this one sec here. Let me just take out this little pen here. Felt tip. Okay, so the other thing is you could see here free eight lesson audio program right here. Right here. Be notified of new posts. Tweet this post. You can search. We have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have LinkedIn, we have YouTube, we have email, we have Blogger. If you if you were to push this page down, you would see an opt-in form for the free Mastermind Breakfast. Now this is, and I'm sorry for the, the marking, I know it's terrible, but you can see this is their homepage. Everybody sees this page. They don't hide this page, it's the first page everybody sees. And I've counted on this page, there's actually 
over 10 different capture points. Remember I told you the biggest error made by small business today is lack of capturing? There's over 10 different capture points right here on this page where we can capture them. They, people can comment and as a result, this site has, has gotten a lot of uh, traffic and not just traffic, but has, has allowed them to really gain traction in building their business. This was a startup company when I started working with them and what ended up happening is within a short while, they've done very well for themselves and they've, they're on the path of serious, serious growth because of strategies like this. Now let me show you the rest of their marketing process because remember it's a funnel, right? So this is the capturing stage. This is the qualifying stage. When somebody opts in for their eight lessons, they automatically get put into an automated sequence. Remember I told you one of the problems was people and um, the lack of systems in qualifying. One of the things we do is we try to automate. We try to do what's called uh, marketing automation. We try to automate all of their marketing so that it's delivered automatically because if I had to rely on a receptionist or myself or my assistant or somebody to send out these eight lessons, you know what would happen. It would not get done because we are busy people. We're a busy society and we're constantly taxed with different challenges and and uh, you know different directions we got to go in and there's problems and we got to put out fires so what I one of the things I always do is I automate the marketing of my clients get it away from them and put it into a system that I can rely on that's how we qualify now when people take when when people see these emails come in this is the professional email they get they get a professionally looking email that says hey here's here's this um, Welcome to the eight lesson information packed uh, lessons to help you achieve your goals, so on and so forth. And then we let people uh, read our emails on an ongoing basis. Are they going to read all the emails? No, absolutely not. Are they going to read every communication piece? Absolutely not. But when they do take certain action, and we know what action they take, my uh, my partners get one of these. It's called a lead notification. Now this is the coolest thing. You got to admit, Rob, is this cool or what? <laughs> you know, jean -Guy, I always love this stuff. So, yeah, you're definitely <laughs> asking the right person if you want some excitement. <laughs> well, you see, I'm usually speaking to, to bit much bigger crowds. So to, to do a webinar where, you you know, we got so many people on the line, we can't open the lines to everybody. The feedback would be incredible. So as a result, we have to mute everybody, and I can only let Rob speak. He unmutes himself. Uh, but, you know, I need that feedback from the crowd, Rob. Thanks for playing that part. But here's well, i gotta, I got to tell you, just to help you out, a little bit. I mean, I, I asked uh, people uh, to save their questions, but uh, there, if you know you want a little bit of feedback, uh, my friend, I'll be happy to give it to you. Um, here's a question, um, you know, from David. Uh, this is awesome. Where can I get a system like this? Uh, here's one from Jen. Um, she wants to know if we are going to uh, put this in a recess, uh, a resource box. Um, I guess she's talking about uh, about what you're showing right now. Uh, the questions are actually just coming up. You know what? Uh, there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of feedback for Jean Guy, uh, so he knows that uh, people are loving what what you're saying there, my friend. But I'm going to ask again if everyone could please just hold their questions off to the end, and then what we're going to do, Jean Guy, um, if this is okay, let's let's put together um, an FAQ. Um, document and uh, and we'll put it up and people can can uh, give us their email address and we can send them uh, all the questions that everybody's asking with all the answers how's that that sounds that sounds great Rob that's perfect so let let me continue and I do appreciate all the positive comments everybody's giving thank you that's great so this is a real let, let me jump right into back into this because this is probably one of the my favorite parts this is a lead notification this is an email that is sent to my partners that says hey um, you this person such and such clicked on so in this email there are certain what, what I call triggers there are certain triggers built into this email and when somebody takes a certain action it triggers this lead notification email because you and I both know that if somebody takes a certain amount of action they're probably interested in what you have to say if you remember back to the problems of of that business owners experience one of the things I said is most business owners are willing to speak to anyone who's willing to listen who's willing to fog a mirror see we don't work like that 
And what I recommend is you shouldn't work like that either. You should only speak to people that are qualified to buy what you sell. And the reason they're qualified is because they're ready, willing, and able to buy what you sell. Well, if somebody takes a certain amount of action on your website, on your emails, on your audio program, on your so on and so forth, and you got one of these, what essentially it is, is it's a notification telling you this person is ready, willing, and able to buy what you sell, so call them up. And it is a phenomenal way that instead of just talking to anyone, you only talk to people that are ready, willing, and able to buy what you sell. So your closing ratio is much higher, which is a lot funner for business owners, and the result is much better sales. So let me rock and roll through this thing. Again, this is, I'm just going to sort of do a quick summary. This is the Generate, Capture, Qualify, Convert, and Nurture Marketing Funnel. What I just showed you was the capture, qualify, and convert. I captured with that website with all those different spots I told you I showed you how to capture. Once I got them, I qualify them with automated marketing systems, and then I convert them with the lead notification emails that are sent out to my partners who then call them and, and do whatever we need to do in order to convert them to a customer. It's a, just a great way to build a business. Now, I want to give you some real deal, real life, real world, uh, examples of how I've put this into place with my customers and, and when I say my customers are really my partners uh, you know when I'm involved with a company I get involved uh, you know for the long haul for the long term I'm not interested in putting together a quick this or a quick that I want to get involved for the long term this is a restaurant I'm involved with in the United States phenomenal restaurant look at the picture I mean it's absolutely gorgeous it's a western style steakhouse very very successful the owner's a chef been a chef for 35 years uh, he's run four and five diamond resorts. He, just a huge success. But when he, when they opened the restaurant, they had done very, very well. But over the last year or so, their sales had been declining every single month on a steady decline. And the result was is the sales were lagging, and the sales were nearly down about 50% when I got involved, maybe a little more. Now, I think that I have a lot of people on the line can appreciate that that kind of stuff happens. You know, you're, some of the people online are saying, "Yeah, my sales are down 50% from a you know a couple of years ago as well," or my sales are lagging and they're stuck. We haven't been able to grow. Well, here's what I did with them. Keep in mind the funnel. Remember the generate, capture, qualify, convert, and nurture funnel. What I did with them is I implemented a capture, convert, and nurture sequence. And all this does is it made sure. Remember, Rob was talking about. This is good also for bricks and mortar companies. Most bricks and mortar companies make the fatal mistake of not capturing their customers' information. And what ends up happening in the end is they have to generate a new customer all the time. And I told my restaurant, I said, I'll tell you what, we're wasting a lot of money trying to generate new customers and new interest in our restaurant. We have huge foot traffic right now. Let's just capture it. So we put in a huge capture sequence, and you're asking yourself, how did we do that? I created a thing called the Chef's Club. And what it was is, it, it's, uh, it was, you see on the right hand side there, these are all points. Uh, get access to our monthly Chef Club special. Free ice cream. Uh, free loaded upgrade. Mushroom and onion slather. Free wine samples. And there's a variety of other benefits. They get a free entree on their birthday. Um, they just get a ton of benefit. And what we this, so for people to get access to this Chef's Club, what they need to do is give us their name, their email, their phone number, their address, all that information for their spouse, their birthday, so on and so forth. The result has been stunning. The result has been stunning. In the last four months, we've captured over, I think we're approaching, sorry, we're just approaching 4,000 customers in the last uh, f three to four months. So we're doing about 1,000 to 1,500 a month in terms of capturing. We're building this huge database, which has be now become our biggest asset because we put those people into this again. Remember, I qualify using I qualify using an automated system because I can't rely on the owner to call them every time. I mean, it'd be ridiculous to try to call 4,000 people or to send manual letters all the time. You need to rely on a system that can send this stuff for you automatically without relying on you. It just does its job all the time. So we put all 4,000 people into this uh, sequence, this automated follow-up sequence. 
and we notify them. Look, we notify them about the queso cheese sticks. We notify them about the beer battered shrimp. You know, there's a good example. The beer battered shrimp we used to sell uh, on average 10 to 15 orders a week. Uh, we featured it on our Chef Club special only after four weeks of collecting information, and we sold over 150 orders. That is 10 times the amount of beer battered shrimp we had ever sold in a week. Not to mention, imagine the amount of people that came back to our restaurant just to get the beer battered shrimp. They love it, we love it, it's a win-win for everybody. So that's how we captured, that's how we qualified and converted with these with this Chef Club special. And then what we did is we kept nurturing them, we kept giving them this great content and information. And the result has been a 25 and in some months 35% jump in sales on a month-over-month -month basis. So if we were doing a million a month, we're now up to 1.3 million. You know, we on a monthly basis, this restaurant has gone up in sales from 25 to 35 percent as a result of only implementing what I showed you. Is that phenomenal or what, Rob? Is that I mean, this is something these people on the phone can do. They can do this with their businesses, no matter if they're a graphic designer, if they're an accounting company, a lawyer, uh, an insurance person, a mortgage broker, a real estate agent. They can do what I just described, can't they, Rob? You know, absolutely, and it's actually, you know, I'm glad that you showed the, the restaurant example because that's really one of the toughest. I mean, you're talking about food. So food is something that everybody needs. It's like air and water, and people are definitely interested in it, but it never creates a big problem for them. It's more of an enjoyment where if we were talking about, uh, like you were just mentioning, an accountant or an attorney, if one of these people put together, um, you know, let's say a quick report uh you know, the top five things you need to know uh, before buying a house for a real estate agent or, you know, for an attorney. Um, three, three, uh, three, ways, um, three ways to do a proper copyright for, for, you know, your company or something along those lines. These are problems that people have and they're solutions that they would appreciate. And, you know, I've got to tell you, for me personally, if somebody gives me some great value, and I and I uh, and I appreciate it, and I get it. If I ever need uh, something in that industry, I go to the person that I already know and trust. And I think that's true for everybody. And that, that's you're absolutely right. And that's exactly what this is about. It's about building trust with your customer and capturing their information so you can market to them on an ongoing basis. It's just the it's just it's not a complicated. It's not an it's not a an earth shattering concept. We just know that it's it's much cheaper to market to your existing list than it is to market to generate new customers. It's actually three times more expensive to go get a new customer, so why not offer them something of great value to get them in the door and capture their information. So uh, that's, been, that's been the result there, uh, and Rob's absolutely right. Restaurant industry is probably one of the toughest, so let me give you another example. You think, you think people want another example? I think so. So let's give them another example. Yeah, let's give it to them. So with this particular business, I did the capture, qualify, and convert method and you can see I'm not touching on the generate. Well, I'll touch on that after. And I, and I touched on the nurture in the last uh, in the restaurant example. But in this particular example, I'm only talking about capture. You see, I'm always including capture because it's the biggest mistake made by small business owners. There is not one person I've worked with, except for Rob, um, that that was existingly already capturing customers on an ongoing basis. Uh, everybody else is making this mistake. It's the biggest mistake made by small business owners today. And uh, it's just huge. So if there's anything you're going to take out of this and, and you know take immediate action on is start capturing customers. Um, so let me show you. This is a gym that I work with in the United States. Uh, they're a small gym. I've been working with this co company since they started. They started with uh, nothing. They were just a mom and pop shop doing in-home training. And now they have a 9,000 square foot location. And they've grown to be a nice sized business that is growing for their owners and they're just really getting started. Uh, we put this together called the Kickstart Package. It's a way for somebody to save 90%. They're getting over a thousand dollars of products and services for only 125. There's no contract, there's no obligation, it's just great phenomenal value. It's all value. They get to train with a personal trainer for a whole week, three times a week for a whole month. 
Uh, they get they get to attend seminars. They get a copy of their book. It's just phenomenal, phenomenal content over and over again. And they've they've generated some huge results. They've had people lose uh, 40 pounds. They've had people lose 15 pounds. They had people lose a lot of weight and get healthy in a short amount of time. It's been very very successful for them. So I capture people with this, I qualify them uh, and with the system, just like I showed you before, same process, I get them coming in, I, I make it system driven, that's the key, write this down, write this down people. This is a universal philosophy I have in all of my companies. I let the system deal with suspects and I let people deal with prospects. I let the system deal with suspects and I let the people deal with prospects. So only when they've proven to me that they are ready, willing and able to buy what I sell will I invest the time as a person to convert them into a client. Up until that point, I let the system do the work. Okay? So I'm just going to repeat it one last time. Let the system deal with suspects. Let the people deal with prospects. So what we did is we captured with this information, we qualified them with this information by somebody putting $125 down on, on themselves and investing that into themselves. It gave us an entire month to work with that person, an entire month to show them what we can do, an entire month to generate real live results for them. And Rob, I got to tell you, from this program, we convert over 90% of the people who join this uh, Kickstart program, we convert over 90% over to the monthly training which is obviously much more expensive it's not it's it can go up to five hundred dollars a month it can go up to more than five hundred dollars a month but ninety percent of the people who buy the kickstart will stay on with us long term well I mean and, and you know that number of those sounds astounding doesn't surprise me at all um, you know you've you've given these people fantastic value you've given them your time you showed them your good faith uh, you've given them results uh, so when it comes time to you know to to whether they would like to continue, um, even you know even at all with the gym, I mean it's not whether it's going to be your gym or not because obviously it is, and you know if, if you're giving quality and you're giving it a great value and and now you've built a relationship with these people, of course they're going to uh, to to continue to work with you. I mean I can the only people I can see leaving the ten percent were those who you know don't feel that that working out in a gym is necessarily for them you know yeah. is that yeah. sound about right uh, yeah absolutely and and you know but it you know the thing is is you're starting to see the common thread and 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 this is a bricks and mortar business this is another bricks and mortar business but you can appreciate the common thread it's all about building trust it's all about delivering value first this is something else you everyone on the line ought to write down is deliver value first deliver value first show your customer prove to them that they should do business with you not the other way around prove to them give them value first we did it with the kickstart in this case in the other case we did it with the chef's club the result here has been incredible we're talking 80 to 110 percent jump in gross monthly sales in four weeks and I know that the people on this very call on this webinar and that are going to be in the webinar series are people that are about the same size and gross sales as Apex Personal Training. They're not a huge, huge business. They're still in the growing phase, but they've been growing very nicely in the last six months as a result of the Kickstart program. It's just been a huge, a huge success for them, and it's all because of their marketing funnel. It all comes back to this generate, capture, qualify, convert, and nurture all the time. So that's the marketing presentation the, the marketing funnel that Rob wanted me to present. Um, it, it's uh, you know it, it is really powerful because it's got the you know the proof is in the pudding really. At the end of the day the proof is in the pudding and uh, it is clear that it's definitely worked as worked very very well for my company. Uh, as I told you in my opening slide, I went my first company we went from 300 clients to 3000 clients. We used the exact same principles and that was a bricks and mortar health company at the as well. So this works for both online and offline companies and this is just one of the things. Now I want to sort of talk about a bit more Rob about this business acceleration webinar series because that I just gave you a quick little sample. I mean truly this was a very small sample 
of what I'm what we're going to talk about throughout this whole thing. This is a business acceleration webinar series. It's all about taking you and your business to the next level. Whether that means going from uh, a thousand a month to two thousand a month in sales, whether that means going from ten thousand a month to twenty thousand a month, or whether it means going from a hundred thousand or a million a month to two hundred thousand, two million a month. It doesn't matter. It's about taking your business to the next level. And no matter what size you are, this is all going to apply. That's the most incredible part. I'm going to be one of the speakers, uh, featured speakers on this. I'm going to go a lot more into detail on my favorite topic, which is how to double your sales and triple your profits. Yes, it's possible. I've done it with all of my companies. It's definitely possible, and I can show you how to get there. That's what I'm going to talk about on the Business Acceleration Webinar Series. Now, we're also going to feature... Um, this young man, Jerry Roberts, is actually one of my business partners. He's an international best-selling author. Many, many people, if not everybody, on this webinar knows of Jerry Roberts. He's got a huge reputation that precedes him because he's spoken over 3 million people and he's generated over $100 million in revenue for himself and his partners. He's got a huge track record. His book is a sort of a worldwide bestseller. Uh, it is absolutely phenomenal to get Jerry to share his knowledge on this business acceleration webinar series with us because I've seen people because of my business partner I've seen behind the scenes and that's what this webinar series is all about as well Rob it's all about behind the scenes getting to see like I just showed you behind the scenes of two of my customers nobody else would ever have seen that see uh, if I'm speaking at a, at a big event, I don't give that kind of behind the scenes information, especially not the growth numbers and the actual revenue numbers. The, you're going to get that in this webinar. You're going to get the behind the scenes of what we're actually doing uh, to, to, to help people build their business, the actual strategies being used, generating results. Uh, and Jerry, Jerry is going to provide, is going to knock people's socks off. Uh, I've seen people fly from literally across the globe, across the globe. Think of the furthest country you could think of. They've flown from there all the way to uh, Toronto, Canada, where he lives, to to have a half day meeting with them and for that Jerry charges over ten thousand dollars for a half day meeting so to get him on a webinar series Rob is a huge huge uh, honor for all of us and our uh, our listeners are gonna get a ton of value out of what Jerry has to say wouldn't you agree Rob oh, there's absolutely no doubt um, you know I'd said it before and I want to stress it again just because we're giving this away for free uh, please please guys don't undervalue um, what is going to be given here. I mean, right there on the screen you can see just some of what some of the other people have said about, uh, you know, Jerry's teachings. And these are people that uh, that everybody recognizes, you know, Dr. Norman Vince Peel, Zig Ziglar, uh, you know, Dr. Ken Blanchard, uh, just, you know, phenomenal people who are saying phenomenal things about um, somebody that you're going to get the opportunity to, uh, to learn from uh, and see their inner workings, uh, you know, for absolutely no money. So it's yeah. just fantastic. I'm excited. Yeah, it is. and the, the, Rob, you're absolutely right. These are some of the people Jerry's worked with. I mean, we're talking about, you know, Mark Victor Hansen, uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul, uh, author, the co-creator of that whole series, sold hundreds of millions of books, uh, billionaires like Rich, Rich DeVos. These are people that Jerry works with on an ongoing and everyday basis. Uh, and he's going to be spending some time with, with people right here on the call. It's incredible. The other one we're going to feature is you, Rob. I can't wait to feature you because um, some of the stuff Rob does is really, it's new age. It's internet marketing. It's social media marketing. It's how to take advantage of all the new stuff. And you, if, if anybody noticed, you see how I didn't talk about the generate part of the funnel? And I should have put a, I should have put the slide here, but I didn't. Um, the generate part of the funnel, that's what Rob's going to talk about. He's going to talk about both online and offline strategies, but he's going to focus a lot on online strategies because it's such a hot topic. I, I bet uh, that people have just been asking a ton of questions regarding how do I do online marketing? How do I do social media marketing? Just in this very webinar because it's such a hot topic. Everybody wants to know how do I take advantage of online marketing and social media to grow my business and that is exactly what Rob Herman is going to deliver uh, you know so Rob I'm really grateful 
uh, that you're going to be on this uh, on this web webinar series with us, and and it truly is business acceleration, and you have a phenomenal topic. You're really going to take their business to the next level. So, Rob, thanks again for being here. My pleasure, my pleasure. I'm just glad that I can help. Um, just uh, just as a little uh, aside, I just want people to know that you know if you're afraid of the internet uh, and online marketing, you're you're you know you're going to feel that you never want to be a part of. I'm going to make this very very simple for you and all the things that that we teach um, without throughout this webinar series are going to be applicable even if you never touch the internet okay I'm going to I'm going to I'm definitely going to be showing you some ways to make the internet more accessible to you um, you know but a lot and a lot and I mean a lot of these um, a lot of these principles carry over you know directly to people walking into your brick and mortar store and you can use them there as well so I just wanted to, to put that as an aside um, yeah we're definitely going to get into the exciting world of social media um, you know uh, Google and search engines we're going to do article article marketing we're going to talk about you know uh, video creation um, you know and just go right through the whole gambit and I'm gonna I'm, you know and I'm I'm pretty accustomed to uh, grabbing people and giving it to them in the in the the, the least complicated way, um, and uh, that's just basically from from uh, teaching this you know so many hours to so many different students. Uh, but uh, I'm really excited to do this, Jean Guy, and uh, I'm you know I'm honored that you guys uh, you guys thought put me into this webinar well Jerry and I both think the world of you uh, Rob and that's why we wanted to feature you in this uh, business acceleration webinar series because you really are uh, one of the good guys out there and uh, and and if anybody's heard Jerry speak uh, you know he's he's really hard on on other internet marketing consultant types uh, which Rob is not um, but he has approved of Rob and all of his methods and everything that Rob stands for because it really works I've seen the results myself it's been great and we've invested uh, and we've actually had Rob come in and help us with our stuff in terms of our business uh, with Jerry Robert and the companies that we own together so uh, that's a testament to what Rob can do absolutely and and I think that the reason but Rob said something interesting he said people are people are sort of you know like Internet marketing is a big black gorilla, I think, to a lot of people. And, and it's no wonder with stats like this, people are afraid, uh, people want it, they want to get in on it, they know it's the next big thing, but they're scared because there's technology involved and, it, and they're not quite sure where to go. And when you look at a stat like this, 10.3 billion searches conducted on Google every month, your head starts spinning. You don't quite know how many zeros that is. You know it's a lot of zeros and you know you've got to get in on it, but you don't know how. What I love about Rob is in his segment, he's going to show you step by step. And he is really good at simplifying, which is the biggest thing. This is another great stat. Seventy-eight percent of internet users conduct product research online. Product research online. If you're not online, if you mark my words, if you are not online with the right, it's not just being online. You got to have the right online presence, which is a big difference. And Rob's going to explain what that means. You are sacrificing and leaving a ton of money on the table. And if you don't catch up soon, you're going to be out of existence. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal. Uh, well, quote. you know, Jean Guy. Go ahead, Rob. Yeah. No, I just, you know, I just wanted to to, to agree with you there on that last point. I mean, even the yellow pages, uh, which has been a tried and true advertising medium for for you know, oh, geez, since ever since uh, I've been around, uh, you know, in the last forty some odd years, <laughs> thirty nine years, I mean, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, they they've uh, they've transferred. Um, to all online. The new Yellow Pages 360 is all about search engine optimization. It's all about article marketing. It's all about video. Uh, it's all about optimizing your website now. So, I mean, if, if Yellow Pages, which is really um, the epitome of offline advertising, has made the move and they're abandoning their tried and tested um, methods of, of working for, for local businesses, I mean, I think uh, that's 
that's probably one of the largest indications that you're ever going to get. That's not a tap on the shoulder. That's, <laughs> that's a kick in the butt. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I totally agree. And, and you know what? The, it, it's funny how, you know, Yellow Pages is not the only, they're not the only company realizing there's a big shift happening. And the shift, the shift is not happening. It's happened. And it's, yes, we're on the tail end of the shift and it's going to keep carrying. But this is, a, this is really a tsunami of, of change here. This is huge. And I love this quote here by uh, Craig Davis. He's the chief creative officer of actually the fourth largest ad agency in the world. He says, audiences everywhere are tough, right? And you guys would all agree. Everyone listening today are thinking, yeah, my audience is different. It's tough. But I tell you, no one, they're not different. All audiences everywhere are tough. They don't have time to be bored or beaten down by orthodox, old-fashioned marketing and advertising. We need, listen to this, we need to stop interrupting what people are interested in and be what people are interested in. And if you just, I mean, that is such a powerful statement. And if you really grasp it, you're going to see how marketing is different. This is the fourth largest ad agency in the world saying this. It's a huge indication, another another indication of what Rob is saying. This isn't a tap on the shoulder, hey, the, the market is changing. This is a, a kick in the butt, punch in the face, slap in the head, saying we're really, we're, we're past the change point. It's time to catch up now. Um, and, and I this is my favorite, this is one of my favorite slides, which is, you know, the, the old, well, we'll put an ad in the yellow pages and see how it works, or what this guy says, gee, I hope this works measurable is the new, gee, I hope this works. And one of the things Rob's going to talk about is how to measure your marketing. Uh, I'm a huge proponent of this. There's, it's not by accident. I can tell you that over 90%, 90% of people who come into our Kickstart program at my personal training company renew to a full-time uh, membership. It's not by accident. I can also tell you exactly how many people are opting into our Chef's Club based on our traffic. I can give you every st statistic regarding my, our marketing in those companies because we measure everything. And Rob's going to show you in some of that in his uh, part of this. So again, just giving you a quick idea of what this webinar series is all about. It's the Business Acceleration bi uh, Webinar Series. It's huge, and it's going to help you grow your business to the next level. we got several speakers. I'm one of them, Rob's one of them, Jerry Robert is one of them, and the one we're going to feature next week um, is, is, a, is a, somebody that I met, oh, probably a year or so ago. His name is Ross Libby, and Ross Libby is the CEO of Your Bottom Line, which is an accounting firm in the GTA. Uh, he's been, he has over 40 years of business experience, and you can, that's his picture there, that's actually Ross, and uh, let me just say it like this. Because I think it's the best way to describe Ross. Ross is an accountant by trade. Now he's much, he's not an average accountant. Look at him. This is him acting. He's an actor at the same time. And when was the last time you've seen an actor who's an accountant? I don't think, you know, just because they both start with A, Rob, doesn't mean that uh, they go in the same sentence. An actor accountant, I haven't seen many of those in my day. But, uh, but this is, this is what uh, Ross Libby's all about, and that's, He's not a he's not a typical accountant, and that's I found a couple of these uh, testimonials of working with some of his clients. He said, "This is what Megan says." She said, "Working with you is quick, easy, and stress free." When's the last time you heard that from an accountant? The, and the next one here from Kevin Woods. This is the best one because I think a lot of people feel this way. Is at first I was stubborn and skeptical, but Ross came up with really attractive solutions that work. Stubborn and skeptical. I think most people feel that way when it comes to they hear the word accountant, Rob. They feel they feel skeptical. They think right away, ah, it's going to be about you know, it's just going to be about bookkeeping, or it's just going to be about taxes, or it's just going to be about. Um, you know, other topics that are dry and boring. And I could tell you that Ross Libby is not like that. This guy can deliver a presentation. He's an actor, so that tells you something. But more importantly, he's been teaching this information for years and years and years. Like Rob, he's taught at different colleges. Uh, he's also a, sp a speaker. He has his own seminars. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal resource for small business owners. And I personally uh, work with Ross Libby. He's a... From he, I'm his one, uh, one of his clients, and I can tell you uh, that he has absolutely delivered on all of his promises. And he's going to show people 
a lot of really cool stuff. And Rob, I know you met Ross, I think last week we sort of bumped into each other. What was your first impression? <laughs> yeah, well, definitely not your average accountant, that's for sure. This guy's not a bean counter. Um, you know, if uh, if I hadn't have been introduced to him as the CEO of an accounting firm, um, you know, I definitely would have thought that uh, that he was, uh, you know, in a, in a much more dynamic um, occupation anyway. But once I started speaking with him, uh, there's definitely some truth that he is not acting as, uh, as a financial advisor and an accountant. He is, uh, but, you know, he can just deliver those types of uh, of lessons to you um, in a way that that you know is very entertaining and uh, that's where the acting part comes in you know he his stage presence um, is 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 put forward in in every venue that he that he has I mean we I met him twice actually I met him at the mastermind meeting and I met him once out for coffee with you guys and uh, both times I was just astounded by uh, by the way uh, the way he presents things uh, in such a simple and entertaining format, I mean, which I never thought I'd ever say about <laughs> accounting. Yeah, no kidding. I know I feel the same way. So let me tell everybody. Now, uh, I'm sort of coming up on the tail end of this year. i got about three minutes left. Let me tell everybody what the Business Acceleration Webinar Series is all going to contain. And there's like there's about 20 different elements and points. I'm just going to cover three or four of them. And I want to tell you next week what, a couple of the things Ross Libby's going to be talking about. This is really powerful. He's going to start off and he's going to show you three ways any business owner, and that means you listening right now, can increase your profits in seven days or less. Did you get that? I We said this was the Business Acceleration Webinar Series. We didn't say this was the Tax Strategy Webinar Series. We didn't say this was the bookkeeping. This is the Business Acceleration Webinar Series, and when we... When we uh, approach Ross, we said, Ross, if, if we want to feature you on this webinar because we know that you're an expert, we know you're a local a trusted source, but don't talk to us and don't bore us with bookkeeping details. Show us how we can make money and how we can profit and how we can accelerate our business. And this is what he came back with. Three ways any business owner can increase their profits in seven days or less. How awesome is that? The other thing he's going to cover is the two most important most important, most critical things to know about taxes and how it can boost your profits by 20%. Forget about the taxes, people. It is not about the taxes. I hate taxes as much as everybody else listening on this call, but I can tell you if it's going to boost my profit margin by 20%, I'm all ears. And Ross Libby is going to show you that next week. Those are just two of the things you're going to cover. That's going to be a phenomenal session next week. Some of the other things we're going to cover throughout the whole webinar series, because we have many, many speakers. It's not just Ross Libby next week and then Jerry and then, I mean, there, there's four, five, six plus speakers. So these are two things we're going to cover. The other thing we're going to cover is why you need to brush up on kissing if you want to sell more. Now, everyone's wondering, what the heck does kissing have to do with selling? But I'm telling you. Jerry Robert will introduce a phenomenal, and Rob's laughing because he's he loves it. But hey, Rob, are you doing that seminar on kissing, or is that is that another time? Uh, yeah, no, no, I'll be uh, I'll be uh, I'll be there, but uh, I'll be in the background. I'm going to leave that up to the experts. <laughs> this is a phenomenal. It really is. It's a phenomenal piece on the the similarities between kissing and selling, and and Jerry does it brilliantly. He's, he's only taught it to three million people, so don't worry. Um, you know, maybe he's got it down pat. He's going to nail it. You're going to love it. The other thing we're going to talk about, and this is Rob is going to be presenting this, which I absolutely love, is some of his secret strategies that's going to allow you to establish, get this, local internet marketing dominance and social media dominance. You see, it's local. He, Rob wants you to become a local internet marketing, marketing dominant force. When, when somebody types in a keyword, they, he, Rob wants them to find you because if they're not finding you, remember how the quote said of the advertising agency. They said, instead of interrupting them, you got to start by something that doesn't interest them. You have to be the thing that interests them. That's what Rob does. He allows that when someone types in something that's of interest to them, you come up first or second or third or wherever you come up. But the point is, is you come up and you become what they're interested in rather than interrupting them. And that's a huge difference. 
That's the difference between push marketing and pull marketing, and Rob's an expert at that and many, many more. So those are just four of the things we're going to talk about in this entire webinar series. And if you read below, there's many more points. There's 21 key facts about online marketing and your website we're going to cover. There's many other uh, elements to this webinar uh, business acceleration webinar series so if if this isn't enough read below and you're gonna see what else we're gonna cover this is huge it's a it's a gonna be a um, a game changer for you when it comes to growing your business that I can promise now the best part and we've already told you I was trying to keep it to the end but too many people were asking is this is free yes we're giving it to you for free there's no doubt that we could sell this for 500 a thousand plus Jerry Roberts time on his own is worth twenty thousand dollars a day and you're gonna have him on one of these webinars so you know that we can charge over a thousand dollars for this no problem but we're gonna give it to you for free why are we doing that because we want to show you that we know what we're talking about we want to build trust with you and we want to make uh, you as successful as we've been as our, our companies has been because if we can establish that trust and bond with you then we'll be able to do business together so this is a huge opportunity for you to accelerate your business growth take your business to the next level and as if that's not a carrot enough to get you into this webinar series as if giving you uh, thousands of dollars of value and content and is not enough we're gonna throw in over fifteen hundred dollars of free gifts every speaker is gonna come with a free gift that is gonna blow you out of the water actually just by filling in your name and your email on the web form to the right here you're gonna get six hundred dollars of gifts just on the next page now those gifts are limited to the first fifty we have we have room for more than fifty on the webinar but the first fifty people are gonna get the gifts like I said over fifteen hundred dollars worth of gifts throughout the whole webinar series but six hundred dollars of gifts on the next page so I don't want to wait anymore I want you to sign up for the web the business acceleration webinar series right now this is the missing link you've been waiting for you're not here by accident you've been searching for this you've been searching for answers this is your moment and now you gotta seize it I want you to put in your name and your email to get this webinar series the business acceleration webinar series you're gonna get six hundred dollars of gifts on the next page and those gifts are limited to the first fifty so hurry up and do it right now.